just really want to figure out how to balance like being soft and soft life and all that stuff, but also, you know, working towards my goals. This is why I'm trying to vlog more so I can really hold myself accountable because I will literally talk myself out of doing anything. So I'm like, oh, I'm in my own world. Like, who cares? Like, society's crumbling anyways. Like, really nothing's that important. And I do believe that stuff, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, I want to make a lasting impression while I'm here, the same time in my earthly form. So it's like, damn, it's fucking hard. You know what I'm saying? What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday. It's the second week of the new year. I'm feeling really good. I'm actually kind of tired. I just got back from the airport. Um, I was in Virginia for the weekend visiting family. We actually threw my sister a ba uh, surprise baby shower, which was really, really exciting. My, my sister's twin planned it, and we all came and were out there, and we surprised her, and that was really, really fun. So I just got back. I'm, like, tired because you know how it is, like, when you're traveling and stuff. So I just took a shower and stuff and kind of, like, freshened up a little bit. I don't know if I like my hair like this. I'm not going to lie. This cloth flip looks crazy last week i feel like i did not start out the new year the way that i would have liked to i just didn't feel y'all know if you guys watched my last um my chit chat video kind of like catching up on like how i've been doing and stuff like i just didn't come in the new year with the energy i would have liked to have but also i'm recognizing that again like i feel like i keep saying this but like we're like not in that season right now of like go 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 i just think it's like this at least for me, this season is really about like taking my time, really looking at my habits and things that are no longer serving me, kind of getting rid of them um, and really just taking that time to, I don't know, just like really like slowly but surely implement those new habits. So I feel like January, I'm just very focused on myself and my body, taking care of myself, just the foundational things, like the foundational habits um, to really set me up for success. I know we have like a bunch of like goals and or at least for me, like I have so many things I want to accomplish this year. Um, and it can feel very overwhelming. I think when the new year starts and there's all this like propaganda and productivity and all these things that we should be doing, but it's also just like, well, why don't we just take at least a few weeks and just really focus like on ourselves, you know, getting those habits in, going to the gym, eating well, that kind of stuff. That's going to really be the focus of this week. So I'm going to make myself a matcha really quickly. And then I'm going to get to cleaning. I kind of need to like deep to be honest i like I'm tr i've been trying to deep clean like once a week or so and i just really need to like s do my floors and like dust and stuff so we're gonna do that today okay don't judge me i literally did not clean anything today <laughs> i got in bed and I've been on TikTok. I've been making TikToks, which, okay, that's productive, technically. I'm, like, trying to come up with other things. I've only been on TikTok <laughs> these past few hours. Um, and, yeah, I just ordered some sweet things. I did not feel like cooking. I really wanted to save money. I'm just really working on, like, I create a budget for January. I'm really working on, like, budgeting more and saving more. But I did not feel like cooking today. I'm just going to have to throw it up and just be like, look, today was one of those days where I just really had a rest. I'm trying not to be mad at myself, but I'm a little bit disappointed because I really did want to spend today deep cleaning. But I honestly was just so tired. And I feel like, honestly, if I would have just put my phone down, I probably would have ended up doing it. Why is my camera not in focus? I honestly just have a really busy week because I have a lot of brand stuff to do. I just really want to figure out how to balance like being soft and soft life and all that stuff but also you know working towards my goals and like you know i'm such an abundance mindset person so when it comes to spending money on things like a 20 dollar salad with the delivery i'm usually like okay it's fine like it is what it is the money's always going to come back to me but also i'm trying to learn to balance that with the discipline of like okay you want to save up for these really major things so maybe you shouldn't order a 20 dollar salad maybe you could have just gone to the grocery store tonight even though you didn't feel like it and you could have meal prep for the week. Also, so sorry if there's kale in my teeth. Like, this whole time I've been talking, I'm sure there's been some. This is why I'm trying to vlog more so I can really hold myself accountable because I will literally talk myself out of doing anything. So I'm like, oh, I'm in my own world. Like, who cares? Like, society's crumbling anyways. Like, really nothing's that important. And I do believe that stuff. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, I want to make a lasting impression while I'm here. The same time in my earthly form. So it's like... Damn, it's fucking hard. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm going to chill for the rest of the night, get a little bit done maybe, and I will see you guys 
tomorrow. It's 5 to 5. Good morning. I slept in. Definitely meant to wake up at 5. It's like 9 o'clock. Um, but it's okay. I needed the sleep. I'm making myself my oatmeal right now. I'm kind of like getting ready, just like starting my day, doing like my little routine. I'm probably going to do like a little stretch and some meditation before I do anything. I want to kind of get started with my day because I do need to upload a video. I also need to do a few other like emails and stuff like that. Um, and then I really need to clean my house. Like I'm just looking around my apartment and it's like driving me crazy. So I'm going to clean. Um, I'm going to make my breakfast. I'm also going to make myself a matcha because you guys know I am on my period and I really don't like doing coffee when I'm on my period because it's not good for your hormones. So when I do feel like I need caffeine, I will do a matcha because it's like better for you. It's green tea. It's healthier. Um, coffee caffeine is just not as good for you. So I've been using these, um, matcha this matcha brand called peak and i actually want to shout them out because they are the sponsor of today's video so i was really excited to try them out because i see them a lot on tiktok you guys probably have seen them before if you guys like are into like wellness and health i like i follow like a lot of like wellness like hormone tiktokers and stuff and people always talk about this brand so this brand peak if you guys have never heard of them they make they basically make like skincare that you can drink because if you guys know like i've been like on my journey with healing my acne and I've really been realizing like obviously what you put in your body is really what's going to make the biggest difference on how your skin looks. And since I've been making these switches with my hormone health, but also since I've been like trying these peak products, I've been really noticing a big difference with my skin. This is probably my favorite matcha that I've tried from a brand. It's their Sun Goddess Matcha. It's like a radiant skin slash energy. I've been drinking a lot of their matcha, again, especially when I'm on my period. They come in like these little like packets, so it makes it very easy to like just whip out and drink really quickly. And also their electrolyte products are really good for you as well. It's basically just like a hydration formula. Like this visibly does help with elasticity for your skin. It reduces fine lines and wrinkles. So again, when you're thinking about just your beauty and outer health, again, it's very correlated. It's directly correlated to your inner health as well. So I've been really enjoying the pink products to kind of help me um, with that. So yeah, I really appreciate really appreciate peak for sponsoring today's video um i'm gonna make my matcha here in a bit i'm gonna go ahead and finish my um lemon water first I like some stretching and uh, meditation and all that stuff and then we'll do the matcha and we'll get started with our day To block out time in my day to text people back because i'm not gonna lie i fucking hate texting and my friends get so mad at me but like i literally could go days without texting anyone like i just feel like if we're gonna have a conversation let's just do it in person and like if we don't live in the same city i'll see you when i see you i'm sorry <laughs> like i know that's so fucked up but i'm just like ah like there's just so much effort to continue a conversation with people over like what are we even talking about how was your day? It was good. Like, what are we saying? Like, I don't know. I just fucking hate texting. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm going to sit down and text people back and um, do emails and stuff. And I'm going to eat my breakfast. I made my second breakfast. You guys know I do two breakfasts sometimes. I just made a bagel and some chicken patties. These are burnt. I was beatboxing and like dancing and I didn't realize that these were burning. So it is what it is. Alright guys, so I just finished deep cleaning my apartment. I'm like literally sweating because I was like going so hard. I'm gonna go ahead and
can run to Trader Joe's really quickly and pick up some pasta and some wine to kind of like reward myself because I just feel like kind of staying in. But yeah, my apartment looks so good. I'm so happy. Say hi, Deku. It looks so good. It really just needs to like do the floors and stuff. I'm going to come back and shower, freshen up, have a nice night in, maybe watch some Attack on Titan. I'm almost done with season three. It's so good. Um, or I might read. I don't know. I'm really into my book right now. We'll see. Anyways, I'm going to run to your Joe's. I just want to check in with you guys and say hi. I just got back. This is the pasta I was talking about. It's so good. Honestly, it's not like the best Casio y Pepe I've had, but the fact that they sell it frozen, I just love this style of pasta, to be honest. So yeah. And then I also just got their $5 cab. I had a lot of wine to see again, so I really don't need to be drinking this right now, but here we are. Good morning. It's a new day. I feel good. I'm about to go take Deku outside real quick um, and just chill a little bit before I go to yoga. I have like an hour and a half. So I'm probably gonna like journal. I just feel weird because usually my morning routine is like I do my like little things and then I go and stretch and then I meditate. But also at the same time, I want to wait till yoga, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take Deku out real quick. I'm gonna make my like little lemon water thingamajig. Um, as well, I'm actually not super tired. I think I'm like fell asleep at a good time. I'm just kind of like I'm noticing in the mornings I just have to keep moving, or else I will get really tired again if I just don't keep going. So I'm so proud of myself for waking up. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day already. Mm. Wait, there's something else I was going to tell you guys. I really don't have much else to say. Um, that was just staring at me. Ready to go outside? Ready to go outside? Should we go outside? Let's go. Come on. Come on. All right, I'm going to go without you. I just got done with yoga i also just got done getting coffee with louisa we were just like talking for like an hour and a half and it was really chill i forgot to vlog any i didn't vlog anything so i apologize but it's been a really nice morning so far it's like 9 45 i'm heading home um i'm gonna like shower and maybe eat something and then kind of like start my work day um but yeah i'm feeling really good yoga was really nice the teacher was so funny she reminded me of um jennifer coolidge's character in white lotus like she reminded me so much of her she was really cool so yeah i'm feeling good it was a really nice start to my morning i'm feeling like really just like energized ready for the day i'm gonna get better about vlogging like i want my vlogs to be like more interesting because i know it's like a lot of just me and like just me around the house because <laughs> every time i leave the house i forget to film but i'm gonna start doing it more um i still have some other fun stuff coming up this week so hopefully you guys are enjoying it but yeah i'm gonna head home now i'm gonna shower and we'll start our day you guys, I'm so upset. I just realized I've been vlogging all week and my audio has been off. Not off, but it's been really low. I literally keep telling myself like, okay, cause the main issue that I have is that when I do my sit down videos, I always use the same camera for my sit down videos and my vlogs. And when I do my sit down videos, because you guys know I'm doing my podcast now, like I upload the audio to a podcast platform. I got a really nice new mic and when I record on my mic, I have to turn the audio levels down on this camera in order to um, get the audio to sound good. So when I vlog, I forget to turn the audio levels back up. So the mic on this camera does not pick up as much audio as it should. And I'm just kind of frustrated with myself because it's like I keep having this issue and it's like, like how, how have I not fixed it by now? But I'm trying to give myself grace. I literally just filmed two videos today. Um, I'm actually really proud of myself. I don't know like I will kind of start going in the right direction and then like something will happen mentally where I shift and I'm just like what am I even doing like and like this is kind of it just I don't know this just kind of feels like another like setback but I'm trying to recognize that like everything just takes time. I'm just gonna have to like take this into account learn from it do better next time. I got more done today than I thought that I would pretty early on. So I think I'm just gonna like give myself a minute, go like on a walk, get outside. I'm actually going to dinner with some friends tonight, which is gonna be really nice, like catching up with like some of my girlfriends. Let's see what I got. 
bought as a package. I don't know what this is. Hey, it's so windy outside. Fuzzy socks. I'm wearing some fuzzy socks right now that my mom got me for Christmas. What is this? Oh, I think I know who this is from. Ooh, beach getaway. Ooh, that smells so good. I'm gonna put this in my bathroom. This is so cute. It's just like a bunch of small stuff. Oh, here we go. Here's a card. I think I know who this is from. I love stuff like this. I love when like stuff just comes in like little surprises. You don't even know who it's from. Let's read it. Aw, from our family to yours, we hope you had an amazing holiday filled with love and excitement. Thank you for being an awesome client of ours in 2022. Look forward to an abundant and prospering 2023. Happy holidays and cheers to the new year. Cheers, Asia and Stanton Financial Co. Thank you, Asia. If you're watching this, I really appreciate this. Y'all know I um, worked with, with Asia and her accounting firm for quite a while. Um, when I was first starting out with full-time content creation. So it was just really sweet that she sent me this. I just really appreciate this. I'll leave a link to her website down below. If you guys are looking for even just like a consultation or help with accounting, um, whether you are a content creator or just um, a self-employed person at all, if you have any kind of business, she's amazing. She can help answer all your questions. She does consultations. She's amazing. So any kind of accounting help that you need, I really recommend you guys check her out. So let's see what else is in here. This is a, let's see. Oh, it's a mug. I love mugs. I love getting mugs from people. That's like one of my favorite. <gasps> Stop. This is so cute. Look. Oh my God. It's me on a mug. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I was saying that I already like, I really love getting mugs because I just like, I'm always drinking like stuff out of mugs. So this was a really great gift like how cute is that this is like a oh my god this is a picture of me on a luggage tag how smart is that that is so fucking cute oh my god this is i love this so much what is this this is so much stuff oh my gosh stop you're kidding that is so cute it's like a journal with my face on it what? Who thinks of stuff like that? Like, that is so cute. Oh my god, yes. I'm definitely gonna use this. Like, are you kidding? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Aja. This is just so sweet. Like, I can't believe she got me all this stuff. Oh, and it's a bag. Also, I feel like this... Oh! <gasps> that is so cute. It's my initials. That is so sweet of her. Like, really, that is so sweet. Um, I, like... I can't even believe she sent me all this stuff. That's such a nice little surprise. I just love stuff like that. Like, I really appreciate that so much. Now I'm gonna make myself some lunch because I'm starving. And we're not gonna, I'm not meeting up my friends until like late. Well, until like eight o'clock. And I think we're just gonna do drinks. I don't think we're gonna do dinner. So I'm gonna make myself something here. I think I'm gonna make one like one of my HelloFresh meals. Um, I just got the box right now. So yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we will make some lunch. I also need to clean up my little setup because I was filming today. Look at my little stand for my mic. This is what I keep, because I don't have anything to keep the mic on, so I put it on all these books. <laughs> I'm a mess. Anyways, I need to clean that up. Oops, I need to clean that up, and then I'm going to cook. Okay, 
guys, I'm about to go to dinner. Hold on, let me pause the music. Um, I'm about to go to dinner right now with the girls. Um, I'm like just kind of touching up my makeup. I just changed really quickly. Oh, my camera battery's about to die. Oh, fuck, I need to um, brush my eyebrows. Um, yeah, and I thought I would say hi. I'm just kind of getting myself together a little bit. I'm about to leave. I don't know where we're going. It's like a new place. It's called like Doc B's. I don't even know. I feel like it might be like really casual, but I'm just dressed. However, I think I'm going to put some, um, excuse the mess, but I'm just wearing like this top that I got from Revolve. It's like this long sleeve top. I thought it was really cute. I was going to wear like some cuter pants with it, but I decided to go with something more chill. These like low rise um, true religion pants. And then I'm just wearing this like um, thrifted bag that I have. So yeah, very simple. Um, I'm trying to figure out what shoes to wear. Look at my fucking shoe. I had like a shoe rack in here and it literally broke. And so I've just like not had a way to organize my shoes now for forever. Um, oh my God. So I just need to figure out what shoes I want to wear. Cause I was going to wear my black Jordans, but I think I want to wear something like a little bit dressier. Hey, <laughs> do you have my black ankle boots? Yeah. Oh, can you bring them? I was like looking for them. I was like, where are they, my fucking boots? Oh, and you have my fucking pants. You have a bunch of my clothes, bitch. Which pants? Those ones are like, um, they're not like khaki, but they're like, you know, beige. Oh, you look cute. I like, I haven't even worn those pants and you have them. Really? Really? That's so crazy. That's so crazy. I hate you. <laughs> I did, well, I never had a chance to wear them because you stole them out of my closet. That's fine. So let's go. I'm going to put this little perfume on. I just got this, um, it's like the replica. I actually already sprayed a little bit, but it's that replica um, by the fireplace perfume. I'm obsessed with, this is my favorite perfume of all time. And I was like, I need to switch it up because this is like more of like a summer scent. It's the Jazz Club. Um, so I got this one and it's very, it honestly low-key smells like a candle, but it still smells really good. So let's go. Let's Friday um I just did my like little morning routine and stuff and feeling good I um went outside and like walked deco and stuff it was so nice out so I just made myself my breakfast really quickly sorry I'm like so kind of tired right now I really want some coffee but I'm not gonna make any um I'm getting ready for a meeting with my accountant I knew I had one today but I didn't realize it was this early so I'm like getting ready to get on that I just have a few questions I want to ask her I don't meet with my accountant I switched accountants um, a few months ago, and I don't meet with her as often as I used to meet with um, Asia, my old accountant. Um, they're very, like, more hands-off, which I really don't mind, but I had a lot of questions for the new year and just, like, they, like my, I have, like, financial goals and just things that I, like, had questions about. And also, I had a lot of questions about, like, business expenses, so, like, I was doing research and realizing that, oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this to stay. I was doing more research on like what could be considered a business write-off or like a write-off for taxes. And there's just so many things that you can like kind of consider to be a write-off. Um, one, cause I have an LLC and I have like my business bank account. So I have my business bank card and I use that for like a lot of different things. So like when I'm buying 
um, camera equipment or things for like my little setup, like my plants and stuff for when I film. There's just so many things that you can count as a business, a business expense. There's like other things that can count as a write-off like that I'm learning about. Um, so I'm just, I have to, I, so I wanna ask her about them. Like I'm realizing that like, um, you know, like your car insurance, there's things that like can be considered a write-off. So I wanna ask her about it before I start like charging those transactions to my card. Um, and what else? I have like a list of questions that I wanted to ask her because honestly I have like a lot. I'm just like, I've been doing a lot of like financial planning for 2023 over these last few weeks. And I just want to make sure that I have like everything figured out. I've been really wanting to save more this year um, and invest more of my money into different things. So, Anyways, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and get ready for this call. And then I need to edit a video today. Um, I have a video due for HelloFresh and I need to edit. And usually with brands, I will just edit like the um, integration clip and then I'll send it to them. Like I won't edit the whole video. It just makes it easier because that way I don't have to like worry about editing the whole thing. Like the day the, you know, the brand clip or, or the clip or whatever is due. Um, but HelloFresh likes the whole video, so I need to edit that whole video today. And they want me to post it on Sunday instead of Monday, so I need to get ready for that. Because I really, I really, I will say I don't like editing my videos the day that, that I post them. I do like them to be edited and ready to go um, the day that they do go live. So it works out. I just need to, I usually just don't edit on Fridays. I usually keep Fridays as my admin days to like just look over like invoicing and all that stuff. But it's fine, I'm just gonna edit today and... Mm. Mm, that's... It's good. I mean, it's not great, but it's good. <laughs> I made these overnight oats, but like the protein is just... I'm really just trying to get more protein in. And I don't feel like eating eggs all the time, so... I wanted to switch it up, but... I'm kind of getting tired of eating this, honestly. Dinner last night was really nice. It was so nice catching up with the girls. Um, those have been my friends since like my freshman year of college. So it's just really nice to like see them and catch up and like, I don't know, it's just, it's weird like seeing us get older and older and it's just like, Teresa has a baby and like there's so many things happening and we're all changing and we're growing up and like, and I haven't talked about this on my channel yet, but I know I'm not gonna be living in, in Austin for a lot longer. I'm probably gonna be moving this year. So I think it's just like also that feeling of like, wow, like, you know, I'm gonna have not, I'm gonna have to start over. Like I'm actually really excited about starting in a new city, but it's just like, wow, like these have been my friends and I've been in the same city with them for so long. And it's gonna be weird to not have them, you know, and like not have them to like go to dinner with and catch up with like whenever. Um, but I'm also excited. I also feel like it's time for me to leave, to be honest. Like I went to college here and I feel like when you stay in the same city that you've been to college, that you attended college at it just it's hard to get out of like that bubble that you're used to and i don't know like i i love austin i think it's amazing it's growing so much a lot of people are moving here but it's just it doesn't give me it doesn't have enough diversity um it doesn't have the vibe that i'm looking for to live long term and i granted i'm probably going to move around like multiple times in my life before i really settle down it's like i'm still young but i don't know it just feels weird like now that time is really like, now that like the clock is really ticking um, in terms of like my lease, gonna it's gonna be ending soon. It's just like, wow, like I am not gonna be living here for long and I'm not gonna have these people around. So it's kind of sad, but um, I'm like ready for this change. So yeah, anyways, I need to get ready for this meeting and yeah, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay, I just got to call my accountant and I love her because she like, they're like, they know what the fuck they're doing, but sometimes they explain things to me and I'm like, wait, hold on. What are you like? I don't even know what we're talking about sometimes. <laughs> and it's like, it's just these concepts that like, I like, there's so many things that people do to save money and to, you know, save themselves from paying a lot of taxes when they work for themselves. And these are things that like, I'm sure if you have a family member or if you are just really wealthy and like you're in that kind of community, like these things make sense to you. But like as someone who doesn't have these understandings and doesn't like, 
you know, it's like, how would I ever know that? And so it's like, she'll be explaining things to me and I really have to have her break down the smallest concepts to me just so I can fully understand like, okay, this is what I'm doing. Like, how does this look in my business day to day? How's this look when I transfer money to my, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God, like it is crazy. I'm just going to say it is crazy. The things that people can do, like there's all these systems, things that you can do to save money. And it's like, so many people don't know about it you know it's just kind of crazy to me so yeah i'm just kind of like i'm not like she answered a lot of my questions so i'm not as confused but i'm just like she introduced so many concepts to me that i'm like i didn't even know this was a thing like what I wish i could explain it to you guys but i really fully don't understand it but like i understand what i'm supposed to be doing in terms of like transfers and saving money and all that stuff for taxes and i know how much i owe in taxes which is nice but it's just like oh my god like i don't even know I'm feeling really grateful that i even have the ability to like hire and pay for an accountant and like have help because these are things that like if i didn't have help with this stuff i'm telling y'all i probably owe so much more money than i like i would have to pay a lot more money so it's like i'm just grateful that i even am able to afford help like this and that i'm just even in this position but yeah it's just crazy bro i feel like i'm just getting i like this is this whole month this whole week this whole everything is just i'm like wow i'm really just getting older and I'm really becoming an adult. Like, I just feel like I was a kid, like, fucking two seconds ago. And I'm an adult now, dealing with, like, like, 401k matching in my SEP. But anyways, I really need to go and edit this video for HelloFresh right now because I need to get this to them, like, ASAP. Mm -hmm. I feel so like I don't know like I just I'm like am I an old bitch or what because I really like it's Friday night and I should be like going I feel like I should be going out and like hang out with my friends and yada 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 a lot of my friends are going to like this one bar um this place called higher ground in Austin they do like this thing called for for record Friday and they have a good um selection this week they're doing like Tame Impala which I really like so I was like, oh, I should probably go. And then also my other friend's having a house party. But I'm just like, dude, I don't even feel like going out. Like, I don't really want to drink. Um, and it's not like I have to, but it's just like, I don't know. Like, I really want to go to the gym tonight. So I think I'm going to stay in. But I also just feel like, I don't even know. Like, literally no one's pressuring me to go out at all. I'm just, I don't know. I feel like sometimes kind of bad because I don't, I don't know. Ugh, I just really don't feel like getting cute and like doing that stuff tonight. So I think I'm gonna go to the gym. Sorry, I'm yawning. Oh my gosh. Um, I've just been relaxing since I got done with work. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the gym. Um, and like do an early night in. <laughs> Control 